we played some Overcooked. Uh, Ghost came in and, and joined us, said it was Ghost, Laugh, Trent, and I, and we played Overcooked 2. And was uh, it was absolutely hilarious. Like, I haven't laughed that hard in a while. <laughs> That's and, great. Uh, they literally were laughing to where I muted so I could, like, listen into the launch <laughs> coverage. And then the game literally, like, I don't know how they managed to time it, but, like, they timed it. T minus two minutes left in the count. It got, it started going, and then they lost, like, they went to simulation. They played again. Yep. And we lost like, our minds again. <laughs> It was so much fun. So much fun. You can't find the silver paint? Oh. I have to talk to my dad on that one. I know he's been researching the paint a lot more than I. I haven't really researched any of the paint yet, so. I have to talk to Pops. We also have, like, owner's manuals and parts manuals and service manuals. And, like, we have all the manuals for all of our, all of our tractors. Yeah. Auto uploads. That's fail wrap. Uh, no. I don't know of any mod that does that. But Overcooked was so much fun. I don't know about everybody else, but I like. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Very, very funny. And very appropriate. Uh, very, very, very appropriate jokes, too, were being made the whole time. Yes. Not looking at ghosts very specifically or anything, but. <laughs> cool. Oh, the jokes. Uh, we were all making them in fairness, but. They were so good. That they were. Yep. yep oh, yep. hey. What? We got our, um, um, a new thing down at a different place. Okay. We had someone redo something for us. Uh huh. We got a new logo for next year. Nice. And it's actually really cool, but I got the file today with all the new ones for different things to make with it. Artemis uh, flew just just past it, just like it wasn't that far. It did off. its it did its flyby this morning. Yeah. The uh, uh, what was it like, 13 miles or something? Oh it was God. pretty close to the surface. Yeah. I don't remember. I've done too much today. Uh, Professor, I believe Grandpa had a narrow front end WD. Uh, no, it was definitely narrow. Because he parked equipment with it like crazy. And, uh, like, I think he had a front attach and he could, like, back wagons around with it and stuff. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He'll be back in 13 days, also. I know, it's crazy. It's like an 18 day mission or something, right? Even though they got there really fast, but I think they're just going to kind of hang out and just get some more like, hey, we could land there, there, and just yeah, make sure. Yeah, I think sure. they're going around the moon at least a few times, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty cool. But there's still 13 days before it even comes back. Yeah. I think but, they're also just sitting there because, um... Because they watch... try different orbits and just yeah. like, how long can this thing last? I mean, if nothing else, like look at the technologies that the technology that has changed from the last time we were, you know, anywhere near the moon with like a capsule yeah. like that to uh, today. You know, it's crazy. 70s. Narrow fronts instances are now pretty much. Yeah. Trucker Jason what's up. How are you doing? Welcome in. However, it will be. Um, they're expecting to travel 1.3 million miles. Oh, splashdowns December 11th. Gotcha. And it was 81 miles above the surface. Keeney, what's just, going on? Welcome in. How are you? They showed in uh, cabin cameras on the fly out, like their uh, exit burn or whatever they oh, called yeah. it. It looks terrible inside i don't they, know if they just didn't like fill it in because like there's no one in there except for a dummy when dad watched for the what? watch he just goes how many g's is that thing pulling it's like i don't know a lot not sure no but they showed like an inside picture of like and it was like that 
I guess I'm just used to seeing you know, the SpaceX of True Dragon, where it's all shiny and pretty, and yeah. yeah. And uh, this is 1900s like 1900s technology. Yeah. Like my cell phone with the Bluetooth not working has more, you know, computing power probably, right? Hey, close. Or wait. I don't know if it works. Or not. And the other thing is, you know, you know, those of you that know, there's a there's a button on the side of the phone that like locks the screen. You know, doesn't work like half the time. Kind of get annoying. But that's okay. It happens. So Santa Claus, if you're listening, new cell phone. Hey yo, how's it going? Max of eleven. I have no idea. Jacob. No idea. Just when that thing went, man, it went. It kind of lifted off slow, and then as it kind of cleared the tower, it seemed like it took off more. Yeah, SRBs, man, for the win. Not and really, actually. Those SRBs actually, started burning all the way through. Then they're so finally picked up and dipped. Dirty. Uh, Tracker Jason off work for the week. Let's go. Let's go. They make a step. Uh, I'm probably we're probably gonna be making a uh, a step for ours. Yeah, welcome in. How's it going? The guy that we know that has all the Alice stuff, he has a really awesome step design that he makes for all of his tractors. And uh, I took pictures of it when we were up at his place. I think we're going to try to replicate what he has. But yeah. I think it's up to 4Gs. Up to 4G? Oh, I have 5G, bro. Uh-oh. Wait. But I think aborts will trigger more. Because they're pulling more aggressive to, you know, save your butt. Wow. Like, I know at least with the SpaceX Falcon 9 Crew Dragon, it's like 3, 3.5 uphill. But if it aborts, you can reach up to like 8 maybe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Close to that. That's just because you're going from yeah, casual yep. 500 miles per hour to, what, 1100 in like a split second get away from a bomb yeah, yeah. uh target jason how do you use it or lose it time i got you so you might as well use it just works in with the holiday right that's awesome and i don't know if i'm getting this field done by the way i'm gonna need some fuel I need some diesel here soon chat just saying i'm gonna need some diesel Need some uh, dinosaur bones here before it's long. You're gonna build it, yeah, yeah. Plus, if you build build it, you get exactly what you want. Instead of buying it, may not be exactly what you want. Holiday, your birthday's Wednesday. Well, Tracker Jason, happy early birthday, man. It's awesome. Can I show you the TMR making thingy you do for? I guess CMV. Kidding. Absolutely. How's it going, by the way? Welcome in, man. So this is it. It's a it's a monster. Uh, we actually need to go fill it up tonight, at some point. We can work on that too. It's it's full of some stuff, but not silage. I think. Maybe not straw. I don't know what it has actually. I know it had some stuff in there, but like didn't have, you know, some of the other stuff, the other accoutrements. Actually, if we look really fast, I think it's down here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it needs silage and straw. So we have all of it up there. I have hauled. I say I have hauled. I mean, auto drive has hauled uh, everything up there. So I think when I started, uh, when I set everything up yeah, last night, it was like 18 million liters. Give or take a couple million. What's a couple million liters of grass, hay, and silage between friends, right? Just saying. No big deal. No big deal.
the man have a great night we will catch you later have a good one uh tomorrow uh tomorrow will be a night stream just so everybody's aware and i will be playing uh, i'll probably be i'm gonna be back here on uh elm creek 4x by stevie yeah Truck. Truck. Dang. That's crazy. About the old space computers. Oh, my combine's flashing now, chat. I should probably go get some fuel, huh? Get this little piece knocked out and I'll, I'll go. I'm gonna uh, say the inside of it looks terrible. That's the inside of it. Oh, well, that picture is terrible, first off. I know. It looks tiny. Yeah. That capsule is not that yeah. tight, is it? Not that one. Wow. Like. Huh. Uh, so I'll be here Tuesday, uh, either sometime between like 6 and 7 tomorrow night until about 10. So I've just been streaming at nights here lately because uh, working our Christmas lights during the day and stuff, you know. Yeah, you're, you're going to do the thing where you drive away from me, aren't you, buddy? Okay. Maybe he'll cycle back around. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, so I'll be here tomorrow night for a couple hours. Um, hopefully next week I get back to my, like, normal... You know, streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, like during the days too, you know. What is mineral and where do you get it? So it's like, you know, your your salt and stuff for your cows. Um, the best place to get it is that one silo. Uh, it's an in-game thing. I'll show you here in just a second. Let me, let me get turned around here. So be... well, let me get turned around. I'll show you. I should go see the Saturn V rocket in person. I would love to go down to uh, see all the space stuff in, in Florida and Texas, to be honest. I'd love to go see it all, but uh, traveling's not uh, not a thing I do too much of. Um, this thing right here, CMB, you can buy mineral feed at it. Or, of course, if you're on a Stevie map, you have this one. Or you can go in the mod up and you can get this one. So, kind of pick your poison, you know what I mean? But just the regular in-game one works well. Yeah. No problem, CMB. You like the evening ones? But I'll still be here Monday, Friday, and Saturdays in the evenings. Yeah, I'm going to get fuel here uh, once I get this little chunk knocked out. Yep. Yeah, so next week, hopefully, guys, I'll get back to my Monday nights at 6, Tuesdays at noon, Thursdays at, at noon, Fridays at 6, and Saturdays at noon. Hopefully, we'll get back to that next week. And maybe some random bonus streams thrown in there too, but hopefully uh, we'll kind of get back to our normal uh, schedule soon, you know? Because Christmas light season is definitely winding down. I, I As I said before, I can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's very, uh, it's very shiny, you know? It's LED and looks great, just saying. But uh, I'm starting to see the light at the end so hopefully wednesday hopefully by wednesday like five o'clock i'll have a functional christmas light display hopefully am i gonna get a soda when i go to the gas station oh you're talking about in game no i was like what are you talking about bro <laughs> gas station i'm streaming what do you want about <laughs> i 
Golly. Uh, we'll play American Truck Sim again, yeah. I uh, I enjoyed that the other night, for sure. Yeah, that was that was quite fun, actually. So we'll, we'll jump back into American Truck Sim. Uh, you never know, maybe... Uh, Maybe some railroads online, maybe some captain of industry, maybe automation empire, maybe satisfactory, maybe um, airplanes. Yeah, maybe, maybe flight sim. You never know. There's helicopters now, you know. I still think helicopters would be a ton of fun in that game. I don't know how they control. I've heard they're not great, but I think that would be fun. I've always enjoyed helicopters in games more than planes, like, you know, say in GTA. Just saying. So, Automation Empire, I have an idea of something I want to do in there. But I don't know if I want to do that on stream or, like, do that in my own time. That game's fun. Of course, Captain of Industry is always changing stuff, always coming out with new stuff. Railroads Online, too, always changing that game. Coming out with new stuff constantly for that game. So, you never know, chat. We got lots of gaming, and uh, we'll find something to play. <laughs> we'll find something to play for sure. That's true, Professor, actually. I don't know. That could be interesting. Fly, fly via joystick and flight sim. That could, could be a lot of fun, actually. Look, I even turned my combine off chat. I'm, I'm responsible, okay? Here's something. Or it's going to take, you know, 20 minutes to fill up, so. Maybe that's why. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, I'm out. Of course, that is a lot of diesel in a combine like this. Definitely going to take a few minutes. So looking ahead on this map chat, 32 is definitely getting planted in soybeans. We did finish um, liming that Saturday. That that no fertilizer is kind of harsh and bright. Uh, but we did finish uh, liming. Problem now is the new fields up north need just as much lime. So... Bit of an issue. Fourteen hundred eighty-eight dollars for diesel chat. Let's go. Look at us. There's a real loop. Oh, that sounds cool. I think I've seen that on YouTube, Mrs. Professor. Possibly. I think probably. 245. Yeah, I wish that was real life, right? True. True, true. All right. Now we're good to harvest for at least a few more minutes. I hope. I would hope. They have a live stream. Yeah. I think I've seen videos of that before where it like goes in the mountain on was one side and yeah, it's way cool. I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. All right, back to combining. Where'd our truck go? Truck? Oh, he's sitting out in the field. He's sitting over there patiently waiting for us. Look at that. How about that? But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that, which it's it's pretty neat. I've always kind of been like into trains, you know. Growing up, taking over the uh, kitchen table and be like, "Yeah, I'm putting trains on this sucker." Yeah, that was me. Just saying. Eight to ten hours if I'm nice to the equipment. Well, there's five point seven now, Professor. I don't think I'll get that much. <laughs> But you never know. You didn't make hay, so you... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, if you don't make hay, you don't have to pay for diesel. That's true. That's true. That is one good uh, good thing about it, right? I guess. 
So chat yesterday, Dad and I cleaned up leaves around the house, and uh, we we usually what we do during Christmas light times, if we have to clean up leaves, we uh, we take leaf blowers and we basically take all the leaves from our yard and we blow them over to Casey's yard, as you know he doesn't care, and then of course I clean them up right away. But at one point, Dad had two leaf blowers and I had another one, and we man, I'm sure our neighbors loved us. We were making so much noise. But I don't really care. We got the job done. That's what matters, you know. We got the job done, but it was it was bad. There were a lot of leaves. Not so much in the front yard. Our backyard was really bad. And you know how many trees we have in our backyard, chat? I'll answer for you. Uh, we have one little like bush thing in our backyard. There's no trees. And our backyard was just plastered in leaves. So. It's like, thanks, neighbors. Appreciate y'all. Most of them came from Casey's house. He has two trees that are within, like, you know, three feet of the, the fence back there, the chain link fence. And then the other neighbors have a tree that's, like, 20 feet away. And, of course, depending on which way the wind's blowing, when the leaves are falling, well, you know, we got them all. So, very kind of our neighbors, but it happens. I enjoy cleanup leaves. It's actually kind of fun. As long as it's not like a super windy day. Because then they don't go where you want them to go. And when you're trying to empty the whole front yard, it you want it to cooperate at least a little bit, you know? So it was a little windy yesterday, but not bad. It was cold outside yesterday, though. It's like 30s or something. Armor Nick, what's up? First rain since the end of August, two weeks ago. Holy cow. Wow. Hey, buddy, you're gonna. Okay, you're turning this way. Got it. Come on. Come on, buddy. So apparently, they missed their initial, or like, insert orbit. Around the by moon? By three nautical miles. Really? Yep. Wow. You mow your grass down to one inch, one or less, they don't stick on That's a good idea, the, Professor, but chain link uh, fences will get you. <laughs> Just saying. Chain link fence will still get you. Sounds like the RS-25 shut down seven feet per second slower than what they wanted. Oh. But it was still in their range. I got you. But the cryogenic stage like the inner stage i guess basically mm -hmm. it it uh performed good enough to cover it oh wow nice cmv very nice yeah backpack blowers are uh they're they're something Fence retaining wells, yeah, it's all chain link fences here. Except for Mr. Neighbor Guy, he put in a vinyl fence and then he blows the leaves underneath the vinyl fence into my yard. I don't actually have proof that he does it, but it's very suspicious that the leaves are just like, you know, just underneath the fence and then there's like a, a windrow of leaves along the fence, you know, on my side. It's like, hmm. I think I'm going to try to set up a camera to catch him doing it. I don't really know why I want to catch him, but I do. I'm just saying. I have cameras I can set up, so. Oh, actually, Carson, speaking of cameras. Yeah. I got the new the new Wise Cams. Yeah. Dude, the image is unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know, Professor. I'm the Carson said it, not me. Just get some boards and block the gap. I'm not going to touch his fence, dude. He'll, like, call the police on me or something. I'm not doing that, Farmer Nick. No, no. But actually, it was funny. Yesterday, we set up the arches that go on the side yard that, like, you know, and his yard's right there. And normally, I go over to him, and I'm like, hey, do you mind if we put them, you know, they, they go over the property line a couple feet, right? And... 
this year I decided the arch that would normally go basically and make them go across the property line, I just put it at an angle to the street. So it goes from like where it goes by the street, just angles to the property line. And uh, yeah, he was outside cutting his grass yesterday and kept looking over like, okay, when are you going to come talk to me? Just giving me dirty looks the whole time. And I'm like, I'm not, not going to go talk to you, sir. Not going to do it. I just didn't do it because I wasn't crossing the property line. I didn't really care what he had to say. Just saying. Your wife. Wait, your wife wants to know why you're watching Luke Combs farming. Bro, he's got some new Crocs coming out. <laughs> I saw it on TikTok. It was pretty funny. Why is he so grumpy? So, Ghost, when he moved in, he moved from a country club. Okay? And, and the whole keeping up with the Joneses, like, he was, you know, trying to keep up with them. And then when he moved into this neighborhood, he, he is now the Joneses, right? Okay. Concrete farms. Wow, farmer Nick. I mean, true. And like, he was, you know, trying to keep up with the, the fancy folk of his neighborhood. Well, when he moved in here, he is the fancy folk. And like, he just doesn't really fit in and he's just kind of a stick in the mud, you know? Yeah. Put a silt fence. That's a good idea. No, I wouldn't. No. And then even like setting up the arches yesterday, I kept telling dad, like, don't cross the property line. Don't do it. And if you actually like stand in the street and you, you square up your eye, you know, close one eye and look down the fence line, he's over the property line by like a foot by the time you get to the street. But whatever. I don't know. But he is, he huh. is, uh, he is super grumpy. So yeah. So apparently the, um, well, what? apparently the, um, the part of the issue, it took them forever to inspect the launcher. Okay. Is due to the elevator. Uh, the pressure of the rocket it busted melt. in and destroyed the elevator. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like it just blew the doors out. That's of a bit of a problem. They couldn't. Yeah, that's they had, normal. They had to use drones to survey the tower. Wow. <laughs> but I will say, everybody else in the neighborhood's pretty chill. We don't. Nobody else in this. Nobody in this neighborhood talks. Like, there's no like, oh, let's have a block party. I would love to do that. I think it'd be so much fun. But like, when somebody's out cutting their ass, everybody else just gives them dirty looks. Or like, I'm out working on lights. People just drive past me and just give me dirty looks. And it's like. Why? Why? Why is it why? You know? Even no, BMW girl does not live in this neighborhood. Her dad lives in this neighborhood. I saw her dad today, actually. I get I waved at him. I don't know if he even saw me, but I waved at him. So Yeah. Pow farmer Nick. Gotcha. Oh yeah. I've actually had a neighbor yell at me before ghosts for putting lights up as early as I was, you know? Actually, Jacob, I, I don't really know. He originally bought the house next door, uh, to turn into a rental. He was going to fix it up and rent it. I don't live in a farm. No, I live in a, like a subdivision. The neighborhood outside of St. Louis in uh, in one of the suburbs. Yeah. No, I've actually one of the neighbors, which I'm cool with this guy. I I'll talk to him if you know I see him. He's he's a nice enough guy. He he uh, used to work with Casey's dad, so like I I consider him like a, a neighborhood friend, you know, he's fine. But one one year I was putting lights up like you know, the week after Halloween or two weeks after Halloween. He literally stopped and like started yelling at me it's too early you can't do this what are you doing why are you doing this and i'm like bro get back in your truck old man you know <laughs> if i don't start now i'll never get done you know and this year i started before halloween you know it really triggers people i'm not gonna lie but none of it's turned on you know it's all unplugged right now technically so 
Uh, neighbors. Yeah, I know. I, I wish I lived like... I like my neighborhood and all. Don't get me wrong. But I, I do wish I lived like out in the country a little bit. I'd love to live on the farm uh, that dad... You know, the, the five acres that dad owns of the old family farm uh, that he grew up on. But A, there's no house down there. And B, to be able to build a house down there, you have to raise it. So you're talking like, you know... Uh, at least a few dollars in dirt. So. Neighbors that stick their nose in everybody's business. Yep, that's my neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> I just like smile, like smiled and nodded at him, you know? Yeah. Uh. Get to the part. Uh, if I end up with too much, Chris, too many Christmas lights, and I can't get them done, then I need to like look into, you know, hiring somebody to help me. That's that's what I get to the point where I have too many, right? You call him Ken's and Karen, even though his wife's name is Karen. Uh, her name next door, for the record. <laughs> By the way, tomorrow you're looking at a double header Falcon 9 launch from Florida. Let's go. I'm here for it. Your S26 at uh, 3.54 p.m. Eastern. And you tell Sat 10B at 9.57 p.m. Eastern. However, both of them have like a 20 and a 30% chance to go with water. Oh, wow. Not water, with weather. Just leave them up all year. No, I can't leave them up all year round. I do too much like yard stuff, like the deer and the uh, inflatables, the blow molds, the... Uh... Oh, I have a river that goes down the front hill. I would like the grass would be all, you know, can't do that. Wow. Yeah. Some people are just terrible, you know? Yeah. Yeah, bad dog. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. But I know what you're saying. I, I, I couldn't do that. But nah, it's just he just. I don't know, man. He just. I don't know. You know, like if your grass isn't cut, he kind of looks at you funny. Like he's one of those. You know, he cuts his grass like three times a week, if it needs it or not. You know. Yeah. Like literally three times a week. It could be the dead of summer. And the grass isn't growing in, you know, a month. And he's out there three times a week cutting. You know? Do I have any neighbors that go the extra mile? No. None of my neighbors really. A couple strands here and there. That's about it. You know, maybe do a gutter, the gutter lights and maybe some trees. And that's about it. I'm the only crazy one on this street. It actually, in town... So, allegedly, the biggest Christmas display in town, the guy supposedly got tired of doing it and sold all of his stuff. I don't know how true that is, but I've heard. And uh, so, my display will probably be like the second or third biggest display in our town now. If not the biggest, actually. Like, quantity of lights. There's some other like pretty decent sized displays, but... I don't know if they quite hit my number. Oh, yeah. To turn them on. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to turn them on until probably Thanksgiving night. Um, lawn mowing sim. <laughs> no, he'll ask me what I do for work sometimes, and it's like, I might as well just go, you know, beat my head into the refrigerator door. I might get a better answer, you know? Or like... Uh, it's crazy. He just can't understand anything. So. Um, well, yeah, I just, it's to the point now, I just don't want to talk to the guy, you know? I am on my own, actually, in the game tonight. Yep. I sure am. Yeah, like Farmer Nick, when I was putting lights up the other night, uh, in the first tree by the driveway, I had them all plugged in. If you saw my Insta story of all those plugs plugged in together, that's what that was. That was the first tree. But as soon as I was done working on it, I unplugged them. 
you know? Nothing wrong with that. I only ask the local paper. Uh, I don't know if the paper's done a story on his lights display. I know the new, like, um, like a TV station has been there a few times. I know that. But see, the problem is this particular person, he's actually the neighbor of one of my brothers, okay? And that does the, the he probably had 100,000 lights, okay? It was a crazy number, maybe 75,000, a bunch though. And their yard's tiny, but like literally every square inch of their yard, the house, the driveway, the roof, everything was covered in lights, right? And they uh, they would actually be outside a lot during like, you know, time the lights are on, right? Which, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you got people stopping. I don't know what that means, Carson. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, he would be out there a lot during Christmas light time. And he would shake people down for donations. He's like, oh, you like the lights? Well, if you want to see more, you know? Yeah. Six. Dang for him, Nick. It's crazy. No, not my brother. It's my brother's neighbor. Brother's neighbor. No, my brother hates Christmas. and He hates, hates Christmas lights. Can't stand them. Yeah. The country. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, so he would, he would literally, and then, and then the other thing, if he wasn't out there shaking people down for donations, he'd be sitting up on his front porch and then you could hear him. You know, you'd stop and Hey, maybe roll down a window. So you don't have to get a glare off your window to see the lights better, you know? And he'd be on his front porch cussing and complaining that people keep stopping in front of his house. And it's like, bro, you put up like 75,000 lights and then you're going to complain about people stopping to look at them. What? <laughs> like, come on, man. You know, like weird, very weird. He dresses a Santa. That's awesome tricks. That's awesome tricks. That's really cool. I'd love to get to that point where I can I can do something like that, you know? That'd be really cool. I need some neighbors to help me like participate, you know, with like decorating their houses too. <laughs> right, ghost. <laughs> get off my lawn. I'm going to my ball. It's out there in the fairway, bro. Come on. Just saying. Good good point. Yeah. And then, so apparently he also does Halloween. They actually kind of decorate for every holiday, but Halloween was his really other big one. They actually set up like a haunted house in their backyard. You go through like the haunted garage to like get to their backyard. Like it's a whole thing, right? Uh, apparently this year something happened. Because like I said, my brother lives next door to this. So he kind of, you know, can just see you by being nosy that something happened and the cops were called. And the next day he took all of his Halloween stuff down. And this was like a week before Halloween. So. Yeah. Days on eBay. Yeah. I need to actually get online tonight and order some stuff. And then dad and I are already talking next year about redoing all of our arches uh, with uh, C7s instead of mini lights. But we're already starting like right now we're working on stuff for next year. Like, that's how you have to do it, you know? Yeah. Somebody got hurt. I don't know what happened. Somebody said something, and then the cops were called, and then the next day, all of his Halloween stuff disappeared. So, I don't know. Not sure. Any local farmers do haunted corn mazes? No, not around here. There's a, there's a place called... Uh, uh, like Eckerd's in St. Louis. They got a couple different locations around and they'll have like a corn maze, but like local farmers, no. 
No, there's no local farmers that want anybody on their land. No. Definitely not. But like the Eckerds or uh, what's the other one? Oh, Eckerds is probably the big one around St. Louis that people know the name of. They, they're definitely a huge, uh, huge, huge, huge. Okay, uh, tricks. I see that. I will watch the video later. Yeah. True. Well, what's it? it could have been Ghost, yeah. I don't know. I just know that it was crazy to see all his stuff disappear, you know? Yeah. A few, and they're a lot of fun. Gotcha. I've never been to a corn maze. Actually. Well, called the cops because it was scary. Never know. Never know. Wow. That's funny. Laura Barber, I'm good. How are you? Welcome in. I, uh... I used to put these like snowflakes way up in my tree like 40 feet off the ground and you when you would turn the corner up on the main road you could see the house you could see the house from so far away it was awesome it was uh oh carson yes that person yeah answer your dm yes 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 big al what's going on we are harvesting i'm harvesting some sorghum we're talking about my neighbor, people in my town being Karens. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Just saying. Actually, there's a whole big thing about that McDonald's hot coffee thing. There's a whole thing to that. The same. The same. Wait. They have a turkey in their Christmas display. <laughs> wow, Sean. That is that is sending mixed signals, isn't it? Alright, come on, honey bee header. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah. We we're just talking we were talking a minute ago about my like neighbor being all irony. Not gonna lie. Exactly, Ghost. I know we've actually talked about that whole whole thing before. Uh, I didn't realize until like you were telling me about it. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Five flows, giant Christmas inflatables. Nice. I have a 20 foot tall inflatable Santa for this year, CMB. Uh, in the past, I had a 16-foot tall Santa, and he, uh, unfortunately, uh, RIP, his motor gave out. He was His material was getting real thin, and, like, his beard ripped one year, and I put it back together with a stapler, which works quite well on inflatables, by the way. Get your office stapler out of your office, you know, out, out, off your desk. Go out there and fix some suckers right up if they oh, get a tear happened? in them. Do what? Carson? Anyway, it works. Better you than me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, then we got a 12-foot inflatable, and that just that just wasn't cutting it. So last year, I bought a 20-footer. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. Big Al, you wouldn't have thought. It works great. Yeah. Shut down three whole blocks. Wow, Professor. That is pretty cool. That is way cool. All but two houses. That's awesome. I bet those two houses get a lot of crap. Uh-huh. Uh, Matt, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. How are you? Uh, actually, there's a place down in St. Louis. I don't know if we'll go to it this year. We went to it a couple years ago. 
Uh, it's called Candy Cane Lane. That's not actually the real name, but that's what they changed the name to for Christmas. And every house participates on both sides of this street for like a block and a half or two blocks, whatever. It, it, and then there's one house that doesn't want to participate. So literally the neighbor puts a Grinch in his front yard. But yeah. everybody else participates and they are out there every night and they collect donations for charity and stuff. It's really cool. They're saying the neighbor that doesn't participate participates by putting a Grinch out saying that he's a Grinch. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. He's the one house that doesn't participate and he has a Grinch in his front yard. But they actually do like, cause it's, it's in like, not quite downtown, but it's definitely in like city of St. Louis but and it, they, uh, they have like the big oak trees on both sides of the street and all this stuff. So they actually run like arches across the street, all this stuff over the street. It's really a cool, but it actually really, looks like he's participating more as a joke and anything yeah. now at yeah. that point, but it's a really cool place. Candy Keen Lane. It's awesome. If you ever get down to St. Louis around Christmas, it's really cool. There, there'll be a line. So last time we went, we had to wait like 45 minutes to drive down the street by the line it's down off Chippewa. Yeah, you're welcome. I still have. I'm doing a but I'm doing some backyard lights too. Okay. In a tree. Yeah. And then I still have all of the front little like tacky lighting. Yeah. Something on it. I spent. I, I worked all afternoon. I am. Got a tree done. Inflatables up. Nice. I even did the mailbox. I haven't done that yet. But, um, gotcha, professor. Got, Makes sense. Because with those, with the splitter, or not the splitter, but like the timers, mm -hmm. which is, I've got one that goes to like the inflatable side, and then the rest hit another split, like it goes from the timer, and then it hits another splitter, which has got like, uh, the hat, like the gutter lights on it, and then also, like, tree lighting and then there's also two uh like shooting stars too oh uh oh, i'm using a john cool. deere x9 by the way with the 60 foot honeybee header on it uh stop at ted drew's you know the problem with going to ted drew's when you go down to candy cane lane is you will wait an over an hour for ted drew's probably it is so busy uh down there big al it is, it is kind of awful, to be honest, how busy it is. But, yeah. Kind of, kind of ridiculous how busy it actually is down there. Yeah. Was, oh. You got precision turn on your, your job. Uh, score's really low, probably, huh? There's a candy cane. Come on, buddy. Just stay here. You have to sign an agreement with the HOA that you're going to participate. That's crazy. Wow. I'm here for it. Yeah. Uh, one of the neighbors across the street, uh, he, he, uh, he's one of our drummers. Yeah. And, um, it's like, and a few other things he helps with that I do a lot too. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he comes home from work and he gets out of his work cart and just goes, dude, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> I'm out like throwing lights up into the tree out front. You gotta get them done. I'm like, dude, I won't be here. And he goes, oh yeah. Uh, Big Al actually, yeah, unpopular St. Louis opinion, but I don't really care for Ted Drew's either. I'd rather go to a local place like here in my town. Um, then go down to Ted Drew's. Uh, a, Ted Drew's is like extremely busy all the time. So like, good luck getting, yeah, it just takes forever, you know? And it's really not that good. My dad will usually, like if they're not that busy when we go down to Candy Cane Lane, he'll get something. Usually I just, I don't even get anything. What is it? Uh, it's frozen custard. Oh. Yeah, Ted Drew's. It's it's a like a St. Louis staple. Anybody's like has friends coming in from out of town. You got to take them to Ted Drew's. That's like a thing, and it's like. Isn't there a better one in your town? Not that there? good. Yeah, there's a couple better ones in my town, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, not one of them. Yeah, but but Ted Drew's has the name, man. Like it's famous, dude. 
I'm saying. It's I've been all over like, you know, Travel Channel and Food Network, like all that stuff. They always go to Ted Drews. Whenever there's anything about St. Louis, it's Ted Drews. Remember when I sank into your end of the game? Yeah. Still at ninety nine. Still at ninety nine percent. Wow. Oh buddy, I'm sorry I moved. I shouldn't have moved. Oh well, I can go for at least a little bit. I was trying to be an impatient chat. Now he's going to turn around right in front of me. Huh. So, <sighs> do you know how we're going down to Houston? Yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. So, there's two more people riding with us. Okay. So, instead of taking our car, okay. Dad rented a bigger vehicle. Nice. And since, like, he used his company's account, basically. Oh. Uh, there's, uh, he was supposed to get like a, like a luxury expedition. Okay. He got a, uh, they ended up giving him a 2021 20, luxury suburban ice. The thing is not, it's got a Bose sound system in it too. Apparently it's like a really, it's really loud too. And wow. over the top. You think this is more of a virus than a mod? What baseball? What are you talking about? You talking about auto drive? Uh, sometimes it has its issues, but it, it'll work. Trust me, he'll figure out his life back here. He'll get to me eventually, okay? He will get to me eventually. Don't worry about it. It's fine. The problem is I'm I'm like full. If I wasn't yeah, full, see how I feel. See how I feel half the time. Yeah. I don't yeah. move. That also helps. I'm trying to be impatient. I'm moving when I get full. See, I just need to stop. Exactly. And not move. Chat. Watch. It'll work. Second try. Okay. Ooh. Actually, first try. Maybe. Look. Here he comes. <laughs> the problem is I'm the one moving and I'm causing the problems. He's fine. Patience is a thing, chat. I know I'm not a doctor, but. What the weather going to do tomorrow? It's going to be beautiful here. I think the strat for tomorrow is get up and work on, like, try and finish Christmas lights. Me too. Like, actually finish, it's though? Time. Yeah. Were you actually going to finish, too? Because I bet you're not anywhere close. I'm not going to finish, no. I, uh... Well, so part of what's slowing me down is, you know, those control boxes I put up? Mm-hmm. I put them on, at least on the one tree where there's already lights on there. Yeah. And because uh, the control boxes go like on the house side of the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so what we do is we take pieces of PVC pipe, like maybe an inch long or two inches long, and run the screw through that on the back side of the board mm -hmm. to kind of act as like a foot to stand off from the tree a little bit. Yeah. I can't find the ones I used last year. And well, we don't have any PVC pipe here at the house. So got to go to the farm Wednesday morning, I think, for like five minutes. Uh, plus, there's still some stuff at the farm. Uh, all the blow molds are still at the farm. The OMG sign's still at the farm. The angel's still at the farm. So you're going to be done by the end of this week. I'm hoping to be done by Wednesday night, but realistically, I think Thanksgiving's at like 3 o'clock on Thursday. Mm. I Hopefully, I'll be done by then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it at your house? No, God no. No, we're going out to my one brother's house. I thought we'd go to my sister's house because, you know, she's got, like, a, an addition put on her house, and she has plenty of room for everybody. And Yeah. It is a good tarp animation, yeah. Uh, but for some reason, we're going out to my brother's. I've got... Oh, mostly sharp, CMB. Most of the time, sharp. Yeah. Uh, actual to lights get, though you gotta go get more i've gotta go get more because i wanted to do more this year because i have more um outputs yeah so I'm, i can do it <laughs> actual like light lights the only thing that i have to do with that's actual lights is drape the c7s from candy 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 cane i make like a chain there and it, it it kind of acts as a fence because that runs along like the front sidewalk. So when people come out of the house, they're forced to go to the driveway to get down to the street. Otherwise, they walk through the display. 
like I even wish I could ahead. outline our driveway with um, lights in the yard. Yeah. But I've got uh, grandparents that when they turn into our yard, you can see yeah. the tire mark through the two, grass. Two lights, bro. Two lights. They'll stand up to it for a little while. No, they'll, they park in the grass too. Yeah, the time. two lights. Like they would just park on the light. Two lights. Okay. Anyone even buy tube lights? Do they even I, sell tube lights? My driveway's outlined in tube lights? Well, not right now. I, had, I don't have those down yet, actually. Dang it, where are those at? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I gotta but put like, the... I gotta string the lights between the candy canes, and I gotta do the tube lights of, and the mailbox, I guess. I found a whole bunch of, like, stakes with a little hook on them. So just, like, yeah. outline, like, our front garden and then yeah. one side of the walkway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, it's just a bunch of yard stuff still, like deer and stars and snow. I gotta buy some. Today snow was a big, stuff. big yard yard day. What are tube lights? They're exactly what they sound like, Big Al. It is like a tube with a light in with it. lights in it. Uh, imagine like all the LED like strip lights these days that you have. Every company sells them, but like an outdoor weatherproof, like literally a clear plastic tube. With flex. LED lights in it. Dang. Some people call them rope lights. Rope light, tube light, kind of interchangeable to me. Dude, I don't know what oh, yeah. bulb it is. Okay. But the lights that go in our front tree. Okay. They cut my hand up. Is, do they have the little latch on the side? That actually holds the little bulb in themselves? Because those are kind of sharp. Yeah, they're like, it's a yeah. textured, it's textured. Okay, yeah. And they are really sharp and they hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Like, because usually I'll go get a glove or something to wear, but I forgot. Yeah. So I just pulled down my sleeve <laughs> and just, like, used my hand to guide it. So the, the rope light or tube light, I put, I wrap those on my mailbox, and then I run them up both sides of the driveway. Because if somebody, like, steps on them, it's not going to hurt them. If a car happens to dip off a little bit when they're turning in first time, he's not here. It's okay. Actually, he could be here, just not logged in. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like they, they're pretty, pretty uh, strong. They, they last a uh, fair, fair bit of time. And people are only over, especially that we're not having Thanksgiving here. It should be chilling. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a thing. I used to have a lot more tube lights and stuff, but. I'm running into an issue though of our leaves on our trees haven't fallen yet. Yeah. Like as I was throwing the lights up into the tree and kind of pulling on them, it would just rain leaves. Huh? Like I had a handful of leaves in my hood. <laughs> like I walked into the house and I'm just like, oh. Part of, part of doing Christmas lights. It's all part but of it. You, it's weird because usually they're down by now. See, our leaves actually are, are like ahead of schedule here as far as I'm concerned. I, my middle tree always holds on to its leaves, but usually like by the second week of December, usually they'll pretty much be down. So as of right now, I'll probably have to clean up leaves one more time and then I'm done. I'm pretty happy about that. Are these like but, maple, maple trees? Do what? Are these like maple trees? Uh, it is a type of maple, I believe. Yeah. Hey, we, we have two on each side of the garage and they hang on to the leaves till yeah. January. And then the oak trees across the street, Terry, he's got the oak trees. Oak tree, Terry? And he had one of them cut down this, well, just not that long ago. So that removed a lot of leaves from the neighborhood. But his other oak tree is just full of leaves still. Hasn't dropped a single one. So it depends which way the wind blows. If they make it into his front yard, usually they come over here. If they stay in his backyard, well, he's got a fence all the way around, so I don't really care. Just saying. So, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Hey, my thing. two yeah. maple trees are a pink. They always rain leaves into the gutters. Oh, gumball trees are awesome, Big Al, except for the gumballs, yeah. They're awful. Those. Huh? 
Is that like the ones with like the little spikes on them? Yeah, the little spiky balls that fall oh in the right. fall. We got or in two the of them in our backyard. I hate gumball trees. Absolutely hate them. We got two in our backyard. There. That was I think Thomas the first tree. tree I, when my one brother bought his house, he's living in now. First thing he did was cut down the gumball tree. But they they have a great color in the fall. Yeah, the gal's not wrong there. But they are just they're awful trees. Hate them. Ours is past the color like the cool color phase. Yeah. They're just kind of annoying now. Uh, season pass is done now, uh, Trix. The the platinum was the final thing in the season pass. That I know of. Yeah. Uh, whatever um, you do, like that's up to you, uh, Trix. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to buy it or not, but yeah. But the Grand Sharper dies richly repeat pretty much big L yeah. I uh <laughs> all my years of you know mowing grass for people, I man, I would send those things flying with my lawnmower. <laughs> sometimes oh, I can walnuts. hear them like, are... yeah. like you'll hear them bounce around in the deck or sometimes you'll even like mm -hmm. hear it hit a different tree neck like the tree or yep. the house. Yep, they're fun though. They're yeah, fun. Well, Walnuts are fun because you can just try to angle your mower and send them flying. Yep. Yep, yep, it works. Nothing else in the past has you interested. I got you, Trace. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. The, the platinum was fun and all. Um, but like the, the log grapples breaking on Saturday, just really, you know, I was pretty, I felt like I was pretty positive towards the, the platinum, uh, you know, from Monday to, to Saturday about, you know, one o'clock or something or you know, whatever time it was two thirty or something. Right. But as soon as those log grapples would break and then I'd reset it and then they would break and then I switched and then that one broke and then I reset it and then it, I was just done. I'm done. You know, I'm with it for now, at least. I would like to go back. Um, I do want to try modded equipment, see if there's some loaders out there that actually work. But as far as using, like, the uh, the platinum loaders for loading logs like we were doing, probably not going to be doing that anymore. So, yeah, it was uh, pretty, uh, pretty awful and really just... It, it honestly, it just kind of angered me, you know, it really did really, really just made me angry. And I, I don't get angry at video games very often, but I was, I was, I do have them ghost. Yes. And they're very cool. They're very cool. Yes. You want to auto load trailers? Yeah. So Ghost, the I can't show you because we don't have the DLC active on this server, uh, but we were loading logs with the uh, Volvol excavator, and the log grapple breaks. One side of it just doesn't work. It, like it'll work, and then it just stops. And the way to fix it is to reset it to the shop. Okay, so I reset it to the shop. And I drove it back up to the yard where we were working out of. And as soon as I got back there, it broke again. And so I said, okay, I'm done. And, and so what I did then is I changed the Volvo, the same, same machine. I changed out the, the grapple on the end, right? I tried out um, a different grapple. And I drove the excavator back up to our yard we were working in. And it loaded like two or three logs and then it broke. Okay. And by this point, you know, I'm already like kind of, kind of getting angry. Right. So I reset it and I drive it back up there again and it broke the second grapple broke a second time. So, so within a span of a couple minutes, I basically broke four grapples and I just basically said F word I'm done. And like, we went and played this map instead on Saturday. So played that map for a little while and then switched. I just, if they're going to make stuff, like make it work. You know what I mean? 
So, yeah, it was awful. And then uh, I was actually watching somebody this morning for a minute before I went out, and they were complaining about it, and they're like, yeah, these, these grapples just keep breaking. They're like, how many have I broken today? And it's like, that shouldn't be a thing, you know? Like, if you're going to put a DLC out, make it work. Yeah. The word grapple? Well, at least I'm not saying scrapple. <laughs> but yeah, I was just really... I was just fed up with it, you know? I really was. I did blame Dan, actually. Yeah. Always blame Dan, chat. FDR. No, I've I've definitely used some of his stuff in the past. It's been a while though. The roll out of the DLC. Yeah, it came out early, a day early. TMP. I don't know if that's a Steam issue or Xbox or who it was, but it came out a day early, yeah. I don't know. I just it really and I know I shouldn't get mad at video games. Like, I understand that. But when you're going to put out a DLC and you're going to charge people, you know, some good money for it, make it work. That's all I'm saying. Make it work. You know, it's not that hard. It's a uh, pork product, tricks. Yeah, it's, it's Scrapple. That's a thing. No, the Yarder's the best thing in the DLC. The Yarder's awesome. Like, I will not, you know, talk negatively about the Yarder. The Yarder is awesome. So is that when you try to use the Yarder to load the log truck? <laughs> Maybe. I'd have to. <laughs> yeah, the Yarder's great. I love the Yarder. The Yarder's fantastic, but... You're getting hangry. We'll go get some food, CMB. What do we have? What's on the menu uh, tonight there, CMB? What do we have? Our tricks, I mean, sorry. Tricks. That's part of it, CMB, yeah. I mean, I, I know that, you know, Giants didn't make me buy joysticks or anything. I did that on my own, but... Only complaint is you can't ride it up the hill. Can we get like a like a seat attachment for the yarder so we can like sit on there and ride the yarder back and forth? <laughs> Leftover. Hey, I'm here for it, Trix. That sounds good. Holy cow. Let you know when I have a few minutes. Oh, man. Three to six business years from now, probably, uh, Mr. Matt. So busy right now. Not going to lie. But that's okay. It happens. Definitely happens. It's my it's my busy time of year, you know, with, with the lighting project. But hopefully one of these days I'll be done. Hopefully, chat. Where is that other truck? Did he He's still driving? Okay. I didn't realize we still had a truck of barley sitting over there, by the way, chat. Pretty awesome. Not going to lie. But I love that barley. I love the rear uh, door on this truck, too, chat. Or this trailer. Actually, like, swings. And all the lights, too. Love me some lights, chat. Don't look at my front yard starting like Friday, okay? Alex, what's going on? How are you? Welcome in. <laughs> I'll try sand camp. I'll try, bud. Like I said, I've seen I've seen his uh, his stuff before. Definitely have. How much does the trailer hold? In this configuration, it holds 250,000. 
You can get it in a, uh, I think it holds 70 as well in the other configuration. But because we're on a 4X map and we're dealing with like high, uh, high output, you know, stuff, uh, all of them that we have hold 250. And I don't know why, chat, but I parked all the trucks over here earlier today and I kind of like it. So I'll park this one over here with the rest. Same. Must have an overweight permit. No, see, I have a drop axle. See, watch. There you go. Now we're legal. <laughs> Except for auto drive hates that axle. It always lifts it. <laughs> Every single time. That's okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, I parked all the trucks over here earlier today. I'm going to sell a couple of these trucks, by the way. Not sure what I'm going to do with the trailers yet. I might get more of these end dumps and just run all five or actually six. Uh, we're going to go up to six trucks eventually, chat. Because when we have hauling to do, five's just not enough right now, you know? Just saying. It's not enough sometimes, chat. Don't run away from me. He was going to run away, chat. Did you see that? All right, let's go park this one over there, too. And then I don't know what else I'm going to get into tonight, but we got to find something to do, chat. Maybe, you know what? Actually. Hogging server, uh, yarder, and semi truck. What? What? Semi truck, yarder. Oh. I'm going to go fill up the TMR maker. That's what I'm going to go do. Yeah. There is a lizard combine that holds 153,000. Yes, there is. I have not used it, but I've heard about it. I got your tricks. And really what made me change all of our trailers to 250,000 was uh, yesterday when I sat down and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna haul that silage, grass, hay, and straw up north. It was like 18 million liters, chat. So that's why I was like, I need to, you know, train head goes 10. Nice. Nice. <laughs> wow, Jacob. Wow. Leroy Jenkins. Oh, goodness. Hungrins, yeah, yep. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly, for or, uh, plugger, exactly. Uh, thanks for the follow, appreciate you, welcome in. How's it going? I'll watch where I'm driving, chat. Saskatchewan. Harvest at 12. Plugger's like, ha, 12. That's so slow. Hey, remember, that's the uh, beauty of this game. We can all play it however we want. Just saying. That's the beauty, chat. Uh, this is uh, Elm Creek 4X by Stevie. Actually, CMV, that is something I need to work on tonight. Not mowing because there's no grass. I need to decide what I'm doing with the north field. Yeah. Master. Oh, I got you, Jacob. Spiniest Tomcat H. Cheered Dex 100, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. All right. Thanks for the uh, bits there, Tomcat. Appreciate you, bro. All right, chat. Pull behind harvester kind of guy. All right. I would go the other way, but it takes too long. So 5.9 million uh, silage, by the way, chat. That's what's here in this bin. Pretty good. 
Oh, jeez, Plugger. Two 16x maps, huh? Oh, you can harvest as fast as you want, Jacob. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Lime slash player at 25. Nice. Very nice. The only problem, and I and I know Plugger's about to say, I have a bin that'll fill that truck faster. I know you do, Plugger. I might need to get it. This is the Stevie bin. This is still really fast if you look at the number moving down there. This is flying. But these big uh, big trailers take a while. Uh, big Al, we'll catch you later. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so welcome to uh, the cow farm chat. This is going to be the cow yard up here. Uh, up yonder. This is up north on the map. We're way up yonder here. Uh, way up north. And we purchased this field here, plot 80, uh, 87. I have put some auto drive out there. And basically the field was so big that it took like 10 minutes to load a course on, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, course play. So I've divided the field up into four, right? Faster. Wow. So basically I put gravel roads out there, as you can see up in the top, right? And, uh, yeah, so need to decide what I'm doing with that. I'm thinking two of them go to grass and maybe two go to soybeans because then we can get straw. Yeah. What's up, nerds? Who are you calling nerds? Now, now. <laughs> Welcome in. But uh, that's what I'm thinking. 25k per second. Wow. Wow. Sugar beets? I don't think I'll be doing sugar beets there. Actually, there are some sugar beets planted, I believe, on the map right now. Like that are ours. I'm pretty sure field uh, 10. Field 10 is sugar beets. And actually, we have potatoes planted in 17 as well. So, <laughs> you know, we're in for uh, some punishment here soon, Chad. Don't worry. Wow, Jacob. Being a nerd has made you a lot of money, IRL. You're proud of it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. That used to have a negative, uh, like a negative thing with it, but I don't think it does anymore. I wouldn't, I guess I am kind of a nerd, but yeah. Spinius Tomcat H. Cheered Dex 100 Public Toilet. That's not at all what that emote's called, Tomcat. Thanks for the bits. This trailer holds 250, Jacob. 250. <laughs> That's not what that emote. Like, you can hover over the emote. That's not what it. Not what it's called. Ghost in Thissom cheered X100, cut of meat, meat, poultry leg, bacon. <laughs> bacon. Ghost, I wasn't going to talk about that on stream. <laughs> but thanks for the bits. Uh, so did you play American Jack or Farms then? Both. Right, Professor? Right. I wasn't going to tell all of the stories from... Uh, overcooked on the stream, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely not saying anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> there sure were some good stories, though, chat, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, some good times were had. That's all I know. Not enough hands and eyes to play both games. Ah, you set up course play and then you go play American Trucks then. Obviously. Obviously. I almost said that out loud, Yulberry. <laughs> you know, that would have been clipped out of context, right? 
Eelberry, that would have been bad for me. Funny for y'all, but... Wow, Jacob. I got you. Wow. This is a TMR maker that is in the mod hub. Um, the reason I'm doing this is so we can fill the bards. Pull up the computer. Ah. Armstrong runs pretty easy. It takes 20 minutes to do that big sugar beet harvest. You mean the one that took us five hours? That we didn't make any money on? Is that the one you're talking about? Because <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but basically, I would like to uh, fill the, uh, the, the, the thingies, the cow barns, with CMR. No, there's nothing wrong with that, Jacob. Uh, but I would like to fill that eventually. So for right now, what we're doing, we don't have any cows. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to make a bunch of TMR. At least that's the theory. Uh, would be to make a bunch of TMR and just have it sitting here. Or probably in that bin over there. So when we actually have money to buy the cows, then we can feed them and like fill up the buildings and, and max stuff up. Because then we don't have to pay attention to them for a, a while. Always buy the barns. Yeah, no, tricks. We have built in mixers too. But I want to fill the barn. The built in mixer will never fill the barn. But yeah, it'll never actually fill the. Uh, It'll never fill it with TMR, right? Yeah, Sand Camp, uh, that's max loan taken out, and uh, we have to, like, seed and fertilize and stuff, bro. So, $900,000, and hey, if nothing else, Sand Camp, uh, this giant four fields up here uh, needs to be limed. Ghost, I can't take anymore. It's already all out. <laughs> We're in trouble, okay? We're in danger. Well, I mean, I could pay a little bit back. <laughs> oh, it is going. Welcome in. No, we're definitely not debt free. Not. No. <laughs> definitely not debt free. I think we're rent free, though. We're not renting it. We don't, we're not having anything leased right now, so we're rent free. In your head. Oh, I got you, Tricks. Yeah, no, we're going to fill them up. These cow barns, we have hold 800 cows. You're just trying to use the emails. Thank you, Ghost. You're doing a great job. Just saying. Yeah, so our cow barns hold 800. And if we fill them with cows, it'll never fill the TMR. So. Besides, I don't really have money to buy that many cows right now so until we get some more money we might as well make some tmr you know it's just kind of a why not thing you know why not do it we have all the ingredients now so had them for a while we have a lot of them now so we're good spiniest tomcat h cheered dex 100 caduceus uh, uh, Tomcat, thanks for the, thanks for the bits. I, uh, I don't, Brian, Brian, I think Brian needs a day off chat. I think Brian's been trying to put up too many Christmas lights at his house. And, uh, he could use a, a day or two off, you know? Brian Wednesday, I won't stream Wednesday chat at all. Or Thursday, probably, actually. So, Brian gets a couple days off for Thanksgiving, okay? Just saying. Bless you. Uh, yeah, he might have sneezed. I don't know what that was. But yeah, he'll get a couple days off, chat. Oh, thought it was empty. I'm not. Brian's a true soldier. Yeah. Yep. You have 20 million in your map. 8% interest. I'll take it all, Professor. Ah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay eventually. Just 
You know, I spent $15 million on Saturday chat. He had too much whiskey. Uh, no CMB and actually dad and I were talking about it and there's an issue. Uh, I don't know if I really want to talk about it on stream, but it's going to be after the first of the year. So after the first of the year, we'll get it after like mid January or so we'll get it. But there's definitely an issue. And like I said, I don't want to go into it, but yeah, we'll get everything figured out eventually. Ghost in for some cheered X100, hammer and pick, hammer and wrench. Very descriptive, Brian. Thank you. Ghost, thanks for the bits. Appreciate them. But yeah. So eventually, CMB, eventually. But yeah. It's one of those things. I'll tell TeamSpeak people, but I don't know if I want to say it on stream. Some things just shouldn't be said, you know? Just saying. But it's all good. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? All right. What does that need? Straw needs more. How much silage does that thing hold? I thought it held a million of each, but I guess because it takes more silage, it's going to hold a lot more silage, huh? Makes sense, right? Makes sense. Ghost, I didn't download this from Plugger. So you're saying you're part of the poll? Yes. Spinius Tomcat H. Cheered X100. Put litter in its place symbol. Put litter in its place symbol. Brian. I mean, that actually does make sense. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> R. Jacob. Yeah, R. Jacob. Yeah, it's in the mod hub. It's not that, you know, crazy capacity. You know? And there's nothing wrong with the crazy capacity, by the way. Not picking. Very, very, very lit. Yes. That's funny. What? Where it belongs. There you go. Come on, miss. Got that big shed and like nothing in it. I'm here for it, though. I'm here for it. I was thinking about chat, like setting up. Obviously not here. There's not enough room, but how crazy would it be? You got three different inputs here, really four with the mineral. You set up a separate bin for each one. Yahoo! Trenton Zach cheered X100 customs Puma Plo cap. That's a, I didn't realize that's what that emote was supposed to be. <laughs> customs. Thanks for the bits and uh, setting off a hype train there, Trent. Appreciate it. I got kind of more. Y'all are just going through, scrolling through your phones now looking for emotes, aren't you? No, no, this is on Twitch. Well, same difference. They're phone emotes, though. Well, granted, I don't know if this is part of the uh, TTV or Franker Z. No, that's definitely part of Franker Z, that, that customs one. I have to scroll down all the way to the symbols tab. They, okay, Sandy, so what I was going to say is you have, like, a conveyor belt system set up so that, like, each bin. You'd have to have like a mother bin or something though, I guess, to actually facilitate that. You'd have to have something, but I was thinking how cool would it be if you could kind of automate that process. And I know I can automate this with uh, auto drive, but I don't know. I just thought that'd be kind of interesting. Actually, I wonder with auto drive with three different tip points there, how would that work? I don't know how that I mean, would work. It's just like the, uh, the parking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how that would work. Might be something to look at. Uh, Brady, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Welcome in, Raiders. Trenton Zach cheered X100 Customs Passport Control Southeast Arrow Puma Plo Stop Talking Feels Good Man. Southeast Arrow. Southeast Arrow. <laughs> I mean, he's not that's wrong. It's lower right arrow. That's Brad. southeast though. <laughs> yeah, but he usually says out like the description of like the emo. Uh, <laughs> Not like your pool pile high. 
It should have said arrow lower right. I know, and it says southeast. <laughs> hey, he also says chips for fries, okay? So, you know, that tells you where Brian's head's at. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in, Raiders. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. Yeah, southeast. <laughs> yep. Welcome on in, everybody. We are currently filling up a uh, TMR maker. At some point, I'm going to buy cows, but I need money first. So. Uh, yes. See, I don't know, Professor. I was thinking maybe you just run one stop. Like up here at the end, and then it would just you do like the, the the hay first, and then the silage, and then I don't know. Well, because you would have to have each one as a different one, because each one is a different uh, fill type. Not necessarily. You run your hay first, and then you run it with silage, and then you run it with uh, straw, and then it would fill. I think I don't know. You might have to run three separate like uh, like dump points. Because it'll yeah. it'll dump before it gets to the dump point. If it detects where you know where it can unload, yeah, as long as it detects the trigger. So I'm wondering if you could just set it up like here and it would do all three. I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. Not gonna mess with it now. But yeah, it's smart enough to dump. A yeah, exactly, trucks. That's what I'm saying. So set up one, and then do it that way, right? That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know. That's true, Tricks. What I really need is to find three trailers. Hear me out, chat. Three trailers that you can daisy chain, like maybe these. Or something, right? You could daisy chain these and put one ingredient. In I don't think that works, but that would be cool. I think that would it used to work on course play. To be able to run like multiple things in a daisy chain like that. I don't know if that works on auto drive. Since you can only select one fruit type, that probably won't work. But I can set up course play too. Just have like sm a small tractor with tippers that just sits up here and runs in a circle all day. As long as it keeps it going, I don't really care, you know? That'd be funny. That would be amusing. We're good though we should be about full we can't automate everything then i have nothing to do you know you've not wanted a baha blast spiniest tomcat h cheered dex 100 gale what tomcat thanks for the bits that's a how does he get Gale out of that. Brian. I'm getting precision. Uh, thanks for the bits there, chat, through the hype train. Oh, goodness. All right, that's going to be enough uh, silage for now. We'll switch to some straw. Oh, and then I want to show you guys this uh, the new field. I got to show it to you guys because as of Sunday or Saturday, remember we were trying to plow it. It didn't work, though. Uh, oh, nice trick. Sounds awesome. Still haven't tried it. I kind of want to, though. Just saying. Uh -huh. Um, I'll show you guys the new field. Saturday. So basically what, what we figured out here is with auto drive, if you want to create a new field, you can totally, or sorry, not auto drive, course play. You can totally create a new field. You just have to sit in the tractor the whole time. Because on Saturday, if y'all recall, I started that up and then we went and... Uh, what did we do? We harvested a field, didn't we? I think we harvested uh, 31. Yeah, we harvested 31. And so <laughs> there were little spots of that field that were actually plowed. And basically the only spots that were plowed... I totally didn't mean to fill with this. There's no room for it, is there? Uh, basically no. Okay. Um, the spots that were plowed when, when I tabbed to the trailer. And so basically Sunday morning, I was like, huh, I wonder. 
And so I started it, and I just left my character sitting in the quad track the whole time. And uh, when I came back Sunday afternoon, saved, restarted the server, came in, and boom, the field was plowed. There were only a couple little spots I had to fix. It wasn't bad. So I was pretty, uh, I was pretty happy with the, uh, with the outcome. To be honest, where's uh, let's go. Get some strop. Very happy with the outcome, though. It was, uh, it was pretty awesome. So you know what actually would be really cool up here. By the way, we're talking about tractors and tippers and stuff. No. No, chat dump trucks. Three dump trucks up here running in a circle. Maybe four. One to empty it. Although we need mineral too. Maybe five. Oh man. Trex, it plowed the whole field. It just didn't like maybe it's because it's we're on the server. Maybe it's because I'm on the server. It 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 plowed the whole thing. It just didn't actually count. Interesting, Sean. I don't know if that makes sense, uh, Trix, but like it plowed and it said that it plowed and it showed on the server that it plowed. But when I restarted the server, all the plowing was gone. There was still grass in the field. So I just had to sit in the tractor and then it worked fine. So I don't, maybe it's a server issue. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Spine is Tomcat H. Cheered Dex 100 motorbike. Motorbike. <laughs> Uh, time get thanks for the bits. Be a lot of bits here, John. Do what? This is gonna be a lot of bits. Just see what Ryan says. I mean, whatever. It's funny. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right? The whole thing. Speed truck mod. Yeah. That's cool. I got your tricks. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, actually, I did the thing where you draw, and I don't remember. It. I, I did it, like, in single player, and it came to multiplayer, so that's just the shape of the field that we have. Like, we could bring it over a lot farther, but, like, whatever. It's fine. It's not a big deal. So that's just the shape of field that we ended up with, and it'll work. Um, my bubble buddy, have a good night. Uh, professor, it was all meadow grass. It was not a real field. No, that that was all meadow. Just like this other side here and these other plots, they're just meadow grass. They're not fields. No, we I made it. Yeah, totally made it uh, myself. Or horseplay. Let's be real. Do you have to plant grass after it's cut? No. Uh, CMB, there's two different ways to go about it. You can either use a uh, roller out of the grass land care uh, section. You can use one of these rollers. And basically what that'll do is give you a free fertilization state and it'll start growing immediately. Or you fertilize it with a, you know, sprayer, spreader, whatever. And then it'll start growing the next day if you don't use the roller. So, yeah. You haven't done the custom field drawing thing with it? Okay. I got you. Trenton Zach cheered X100. Puma Plo Oof. Brady, what's up? Pointing triangle. Repeat. Bread. Cut of meat. Cheese. Bread. Hamburger. Hamburger. Did you hear that? A ham in there? Yeah, put... I was trying to remember as uh, one of the recipes. I think he's putting. <laughs> Give me a burger. I need cheese. <laughs> I need a burger. I need a chop. <laughs> Spiniest Tomcat H. Cheered Dex 100. Meditating businessman. What? What? Is he meditating? Yeah, no shot. <laughs> Bobby Epper's in the bits. Uh, so yes, Professor, I did turn allow create new field on. 
and then I sat in it. But we also I did the drawing thing too with with course play. That's that's new with uh, I think it's new with twenty two. You can literally draw a field. I, anybody want to make this a field? I don't Chat have fish. Who dares me to hit save? Yes. No. Not saving that. <laughs> So basically, you could draw your borders now, and then if I would drive into those borders, it would say, hey, you have a field here, dum-dum. You want to, like, work inside that field, dum-dum? And I'd be like, yes. Yeah. Sounded like the Pink Panthers sounded saying hamburger. Did I? <laughs> I'm not saving it, Goose here. What's up, dude? No way. No way, Chad. I'm saving that field. We'll buy this plot of land eventually. I don't know what we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna do with it, but it'll be purchased. Two point six million. Probably just make it a big field, or maybe uh, four fields again, because course play did not like to load on this big of a field, especially on a server. Uh, single player it took about ten minutes, and oh well, almost the same here. And depending on who would try it, like it crashed. Um, somebody's game the other day it crashed. I forget who it was. Mm, yummy. Trenton's act cheered x100 no. bread cut of meat cheese leafy green bread leafy green <laughs> you think i'm gonna poo my pants ghost and for some cheered x100 uh trenton ghost thanks for the bits yeah, i finally got a good one i hate i hate the alerts so much i hate the alerts so much uh, no you love them i hate them so much i only disagree Problem is, I don't remember saying the, the poo my pants one. Oh, you do. The salami one the other day played. That was really funny. That one caught me off guard. I remember saying that, though. Oh, goodness. Clip. I don't want that one. No. No, no clip. It's already been clipped. You don't need to clip it again. Seven hours. <laughs> Would you, you get a little sleepy there, Professor? You were plowing? I don't actually know how long it took. I'm going to be honest. I started that up uh, Sunday morning, and I watched him for maybe a round. And I I went to the I farm. Know, or I didn't go to my mouth. Trenton's Act Cheered X100. Burrito. Burrito. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. I, I couldn't find a uh, tortilla. Wow, we didn't go to the farm Sunday. We went and worked on lights. That's what we did. But yeah, I just That's watched him for a little bit and let him eat after that. All right, this thing's full enough, right? Uh, maybe. Full enough, chat. That's what we're going with, okay? Jacob 2348 Jadex 100. Jacob, thanks for the biddies. Tricks, this is what I used. It took hours, though. I mean, yeah. Brian, you get wrecked. Uh, this is this is what I like to use. Sixteen point seven meters, nine miles an hour. It's in the mod hub. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I wish I had the uh, nineteen version of the Woolrich. Oh yeah. Is uh, the nineteen version was a sixty foot? Yeah. Now that they nice. fixed it. Yeah, it was pretty garbage before. But now, as long as you didn't hire it, it worked just fine. I will say, chat, right here, I need to fix this road. I, I didn't want to because I was running out of money. But there's a bit of a... Running out of money? It's, nope. a, bit, it's a bit awkward right there. <laughs> but otherwise, chat, welcome to Jurassic Park. I'm, I'm going to say that joke every time I drive into this field, okay? Oh, ghost. No, not again. Yes. <laughs> ghost, you have been hitting dingers lately with your clips, just so you know. The only reason why you have VIP. Yeah. I'll... 
<laughs> oh wow that's awesome so anyway uh this does have auto drive out here by the way because when we go to bail this <laughs> Exactly. That's yep. Spinius Tomcat H cheered Dex one hundred elephant. Elephant. <laughs> elephant. Said it really quick and simple. Yeah, but anyway, so I put auto drive out here. Uh and there's one for each plot of the four. Oh you could so. put field? You just had to put F. That's how he calls it? He puts F and the, I dude, I copied what he did, okay? Trust me. He doesn't say field. He says F. I'm saying. Sorry. Yes, F, but it's 29 tractor trailer. Yeah, I didn't do the tractor trailer. I did do a tractor trailer wait point down here. Because originally what I was thinking was like, okay, we'll just drive everything to one point. And then I was like, well, if we're going to bail and we need to pick up bales, obviously that's an auto drive job. But we need the spot in the field. I was like, well, I got to do that too. So there's actually a little yard down here that I put in. No, Sean. So there's a little yard down here that has a wait point for trucks. Um, and it's cool. Because they kind of sit right up along the field here, which will be perfect. For when we go to harvest here, they basically just turn in just like this, and then they sit. Or they sit straight, but like right here, so... And then I didn't realize, I was like, oh, I'll just attach it to this road over here. No problem. Yeah, this is the highway. And? Oh, Sean, it's the joysticks that broke it. The throttle on the joysticks control the camera. See? Oh, it's not doing it now. Oh, why is it doing it now? There we go. No, no don't mess with it, John. This is the throttle on the joystick. Throttle up, throttle down. Throttle up, throttle down. Which joystick? Left one or right one? The right one, for some reason, does it. And I don't know why. That's a default control. Camera one, camera two. Yeah, yes. In a vehicle? Yeah. Is it for field or farm? Oh, I don't know, Professor. You gotta be in a vehicle for that to work, or...? Nope. Okay. Anyway, isn't that from, uh, I'm, I'm, I know what that's from, but I'm drawing, it's from Wayne's World, right? Ghost, camera one, camera two, camera one, yeah. camera two. I think mine so, Mine doesn't right? do that. Really? Oh, mine does. I think oh. that's from Wayne's World, but I could be that's wrong. That's the left one for me. Why does it do that? <laughs> uh, I'm so anyway, yes, okay. So if we're uh, harvesting up there, like, say, soybeans, I need to watch those movies again, by the way. Wings World, one and two, so oh, good. No. Mine's doing it now. Oh. Put it right in the center. You're fine. Um, but if we're harvesting up there, the trucks come and get on the highway and just absolutely book it down here to the main farm. So I'm actually okay with running right to the highway. It's pretty cool. But they, you know, they'll book it full speed. So that's not necessarily a bad thing to book it down the highway. The only problem is the, the return trip to the field. They kind of go out of the way. There's a turnaround somewhere way up here. So they go way, they take the highway and go way up and then come back. But I wasn't going to like, I didn't want to put in a turnaround. I just, you know, use what was there kind of thing. So, yeah, not a big deal. Too slow need to be about 110. Jacob? It's only a 4X map, buddy. You know? So Besides... Go 60, 70 mile an hour. We're going to end up with six trucks. Is what I've decided. We're going to sell two. Buy three. Eventually, when we have money. Sell two, buy three. And uh, we'll have six trucks and probably six of these trailers, honestly. These are great trailers. So... I found another version of that trailer oh really what's what's different about it it doesn't uh tip in the middle oh really is it like a walking floor 
No, it's the, it's the same concept. It just has a single RAM up front. Oh, so it actually has a frame then, huh? Yeah, it's a frame trailer. Okay. I gotcha. Interesting. And All different right. turf on it. Okay. I gotcha. Elephant. But I'm going to sell those noisy uh, cab overs, just not yet, because we still need them. But when we have money, they're going. I'm going to buy all, all three of the Platinum trucks. And uh, the nice next fancy step. Volvos. Yeah, we'll get some fancy Volvos in here. Probably not nice. the triple axle configuration, though, because like shorter the frame, the better. Really, the best truck for auto drive that I've found so far is the man. This thing is awesome. And oh, we put, I didn't realize I put those tires on it. The man truck is great though for auto drive. It it works. It's just it's so good. It's so good, chat. Uh, to 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 uh, Nebraska, professor. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, I'm not Sean. I'm selling two. Buying three, that'll get us up to six trucks. Because we have five now. So if we sell two, buy three. Boom. All right. So chat really fast. Ten o'clock. I know it's, I, I, yeah. I'm not going to do it right now. But what do we, what do we think about putting grass and grass and then soy and soy in our, in our big north field? Grass, grass, soy, soy. What do we think, chat? Because then we'll have all the grass. We could do grass. We could do hay. And then straw and straw. And all of this can be used for cows. Sounds good. We're on uh, Elm Creek Forex by Stevie. But obviously I can't plant soy right now because it's the wrong time of year. Plus 32 is going to be planted soybeans as well. So the biggest problem with this field is it needs a lime. It needs a lime. So because it's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's bad but i need help if i'm gonna lime that i'm gonna be honest that's uh at least a two person if not a three person job probably three people one spreader and uh two auger wagons to be honest but that's what i'm thinking chat soy left grass right yeah bottom right because it's shorter oh do we do grass on the bottom and oh man now you're getting me I do soy up top then? Grass down here? Or do I do like soy and soy and grass and oh, mix it up? I think we're in agreement though, two and two, right? I think that's the plan, chat. I don't know if I can seed that, by the way. We might have to, uh, I might have to have a second person to help me seed that with the uh, tandem, tandem seeders with the, with the, you know, with the tow chain, you know? But anyway, chat, it is uh, it is 10 o'clock. I need some dinner. And uh, I'm going to start winding down from that. I hope to go to bed really early tonight. We'll see if that happens. But, you know. Anyway, uh, Trent, I will catch you uh, probably tomorrow, to be honest. Sounds good. Have a good one. Thank you. Those of you watching over on YouTube, have a great rest of your day. And as always, uh, toodles.